Hello, everyone. Welcome to my talk. My name is Sang Yan Hong from Oregon State University. And today I will talk about how publishing efficient on device model can increase the adversarial vulnerability. This work could not have done without my awesome collaborators, Nicholas and Alex, and everyone who gave valuable feedback. Let's start. Imagine an adversary who wants to bypass a black box machine learning model for content moderation and unload on inappropriate images to the public cloud. One way to achieve this goal is to exploit the transferability phenomenon. The attacker crafts the adversary examples on a white box surrogate model, which is a transfer prior, and use them to fool the original black box model. Or the attacker can exploit query outputs. They first query the model with adversary examples, exploit query outputs and a transfer prior to calibrate the adversary examples and perform this attack iteratively until successful. To win the security game, it is very important to have a good prior. And this is typically a challenging step for the adversary. However, what if we make this challenge much more easier? A recent trend in machine learning deployment is to publish smaller models to devices. And this trend brings many benefits, such as it improves service continuity when users don't have access to the internet and also reduces the operational costs for service providers. But at the same time, such models are easy to be reverse engineered and used as a good prior for the attacker. And it will become an important concern for machine learning sustainability or sustainable machine learning as Professor McDaniel uh, pointed out in this year's CCS keynote talk. So we asked this question, does the publishing of undeviced models make black box machine learning system more vulnerable to adversary attacks? And if the answer is yes, what can we do to remedy? In this study, we asked four research questions. First, how does the threat model change by releasing on device model? And how much does the adversary of vulnerability increase? And what property influenced the vulnerability increase and can we reduce the increase during on device model construction? And let's start with the first question. So here is the security game A considered in prior war, and the attacker is in the left and the defender is in the right side. Defender trains a black box server model with T1 and grants the access to this server side model. And on the other hand, the attacker generates an adversary example X prime by iteratively making queries to the server model. Here, of course, the goal is to fool the black box server model and the cost is typically measured by the number of queries. We then look at this new security game B with on-device models. Defender also constructs an on-device model with a training algorithm or construction algorithm T2 and send this to the adversary. And the attacker also exploit this white box access to the model and generate an adversary example. In this game, we're interested in the vulnerability increase measured by the difference in the number of queries between two games. Now we empirically quantify this vulnerability increase. We use these adversary attacks, which are the standard attacks used by the prior work. In transfer-based attacks, we first use FGSM to show how easy it is to do transfer attacks, while we use PGD-10 to show how difficult it is to do so. In optimization-based attack, we use PRGF attack. We compute the two metrics. First one is the relative falling rate, that encodes how successfully adversary example crafted on the on-device model transferred to the original model, and the number of queries required on average until an optimization-based attack is successful. And here is our result. For simplicity, we report the result from the optimization-based attack and please refer to our paper for the transfer-based attack research. Our server-side model is ResNet50 trained on CPAR10, and we show on device models constructed by five different deep learning mechanisms. The first three lines represent our baselines. First, an adversary without any model, which requires 3,000 3, queries on average. Second one is the adversary with a model trained from scratch with a different random seed, representing a typical scenario in prior work. Number of queries required in this case is reduced to 800. And final case is the worst case scenario, an attacker with the exact the same model, and it requires 13 queries to succeed. 
So now we use on-device models as a prior and show that models constructed by quantization and pruning causes the worst case vulnerability increase. This is exactly the same as having the same model. We also show that if construction of on-device models involve training a model from scratch, like distillation, the vulnerability becomes slightly higher than using the same model trained from scratch. And if the on-device model even uses a different architecture, then the attacker still reduces the number of queries by half compared to the no prior case where the attacker does not use any model. We further tested with the models constructed by Once for All, a leading paradigm in efficient deep learning. Once for All first trains a huge network and construct an on-device model by simply choosing its subnetwork without training. The three numbers represent the subnetwork configurations after the OFA, and all these models trained on ImageNet. We show that on-device model in a leading paradigm causes the worst case vulnerability increase. Now we turn our attention into the real world scenarios. We use the cloud-based services such as Amazon SageMaker or Google AutoML to construct the server-side and on-device models and exploit the on-device model to attack the server-side model. In AWS SageMaker, we showed the worst case vulnerability increase because they construct on-device models using 8-bit quantization. However, in contrast in Google AutoML, the vulnerability barely increases as their library TensorFlow Lite doesn't allow us to compute the gradient from the on-device model and the query interface rounds of floating point perturbation values and make it as 8-bit integers. So we now aim to understand the factors influence this increase. We focus on three levels. First is a network level, architecture similarity between the original and the on-device model and parameter level similarity between two models caused by the construction mechanism that do not train on device models. And third one from model interners such as input gradient, activation, or output similarity between two models. And we already observed the architecture similarity and on device models constructed without training increases the vulnerability. Therefore, we focus on the model interners. We measure the similarity of the input gradient, activation and output between the two models and found that the input gradient is the key factor. Here we train a bunch of models on CFR10 and compute the cosine similarity between the input gradient from each pair on the same set of samples. We see from this figure, as the input gradient increases to 1.0, the number of needed queries, which is query complexity, decreases by more than 100 times. From this research, we observed the security and efficiency trade-off in efficient deep learning method. Here I plotted x-axis as a vulnerability increase, and the y-axis is the cost of constructing on device models, such as training or coming up with a new architecture. And methods like quantization and pruning do not require training of on-device model and uses the same architecture to lead to the worst case vulnerability increase. This relation placed in the middle it trains on device models from scratch, but it uses an architecture similar to the original model. And finally, method that uses a completely different architecture such as NASNet and also require to train a model from scratch lead to the least vulnerability increase. And, and this suggests desiderata for constructing on device models. We need to reduce the cost of construction while keeping the vulnerability increase small. So it naturally leads to our final question, can we develop such a defense, right? We propose similarity and pairing as our answer that fine tunes an on-device model for decreasing the vulnerability. It is first secure because our fine tuning objective, which is shown in the middle, it is designed to reduce the input gradient similarity. And second, it is also efficient as we only require 10 to 20 epochs of fine tuning of a non-device model. There are three strategies combine similarity and pairing with efficient deep learning method. First, we can fine tune the original model, which is server-side model, and then run an efficient deep learning method. 
Second, we first run an efficient deep learning method and fine tune the resulting on device model. And third one is we propose a new efficient deep learning algorithm to jointly construct on device models with our similarity on pairing objective. And here is our result. We first found that fine tune last is the most effective strategy. So this figure shows the result from the fine tune last. The x axis represents five different efficient deep learning mechanisms, and the y axis represents a number of queries as a log scale. Red bars are without our defense, and the green bars are without defense, with our defense. And here in overall, the defense decreases the number of queries by two to the 100 times at most. And particularly what is interesting, it increases the number of queries by 4,200 times in quantization and pruning, which represent the worst case vulnerability increase scenarios. And it also increased the query complexity five times in a leading paradigm once for all. So here is a summary of our findings. First, we formulate a new security game with an adversary exploring on device models. And second, we show this new attacker can reduce the query complexity cost by 100 times and most. And three, we show the input gradient similarity is the key factor contributing to this vulnerability increase. And our defense similarity on pairing reduces the vulnerability five to 100 times and most. So now I want to conclude my talk with those takeaways. First, publishing on device models can significantly increase the vulnerability. We show that it can reduce the query complexity and most 100 times in the optimization-based attacks. And this means that second, we need more research on this new threat model. First, we need to study stronger attacks that break the similarity on pairing defense. And second, we need to examine the trade-off between being efficient and being secure. And finally, one device model should be released with the security consideration. First, when we are releasing on device models, we evaluate the vulnerability increase before we publish. And if you already released on device models, for that, we need to develop new defenses to mitigate the vulnerability increase. And this is what I have it today. Thank you for listening. And from now on, I'm happy to answer any questions from the audience. Thank you very much.